beloved, welcome to the first day of the rest of your life, and welcome to the first day of the best of your life. I am Astorius Miraculi, and today my message is the harmonic convergence of love. Love is the resonance of eternal being. Love is the primary way of God, God is absolute. The primary expression of creator happens through the frequency of love and sometimes in the human experience there's a tendency to develop fear around love sometimes it's the fear that we won't be loved the unfortunate thing about the fear that we won't be loved is that that fear creates the very absence of being loved and even in those moments when there's the fear of not being loved and there seems to be the absence of love, underneath that absence is always the presence of love. Love is always harmonically converged in every moment, in every instant, in every situation with every being. There's never a time when love isn't present. There is no spot where love is not even though the awareness of the presence of love can stray so far away from that reality that there can appear to be no love. And it can hurt like hell. It can be an extremely painful experience. And yet love is always harmonically converged within every person, within every moment, even right down to the moment of birth. Love harmonically converged into that moment that we made it through the birth canal. An amazing act of love that gave us entry into incarnation and physical birth. The most amazing gift that we could ever be given was the gift that our parents gave us in giving us the rites of passage to be born into physicality. Even if in the course of our life we experience difficulties with our parents, no matter the difficulty, no matter the unkindness that may have come from a parent, that parent gave the greatest gift that can be given. And that is the gift of entry into this physical life of ours. So if you've been holding any issues against your parents, know that they gave you the greatest gift. And yes, there are sometimes behaviors that are not the kindest, you know, not the most evolved. And yet, we can only attract unto ourselves that we, which we have ordered into being through which to learn and grow. And knowing that is also experiencing and allowing the love frequency to harmonically converge via that understanding that we are creating everything. Even in the contrast of life and the difficulties of life and all of the adversities of life and the things that life brings forth that we don't want, love is also harmonically converged in that mix. Because it is through those things of contrast, through those difficulties and those adversities that we often become jump-started into a much greater passion to make those things happen in our lives that we want. Even the difficulties of life serve us. You know, love harmonically converges within the difficulties as well. There's a harmonic convergence of love in the biological process of our growing. You know, that we grow, that cells develop, that the body matures, that consciousness accelerates, that the mind expands, that 
understanding broadens. All of this is the harmonic convergence of love. Love is a very powerful and creative force. You know, love is that which operates from a place of pure harmony. Where there is love, there is pure harmony. And one of the amazing things about love is that its nature is eternal. We can look at fear and worry and despair and pain. And one of the major differences that we recognize is that all of those things have an expiration date. And the frequency of love is from the beginning, less beginning, all the way into the endless end. It harmonically converges with everything. Even within the pain, go to the center of the pain and you'll find the light of the love frequency. Because love owns the center of everything. You cannot contaminate the center because that's where love dwells. That's where the light dwells. And remembering that will give us the presence of mind and heart to always give consciousness to the awareness that love is harmonically converged in every situation. It's just a matter of looking for it. Even the absence of love serves the cause of love because it is sometimes in the absence of love that there is the igniting of greater passion to experience the fruition of love. Like getting knocked down to the canvas of life and then getting up stronger than we were before we went down. That's a harmonic convergence of love that it hurt to get knocked down and yet the impetus was to get up and to be even stronger. And one is stronger, not in spite of being knocked down, but because of being knocked down. Because love harmonically converges with everything. Love is meant to harmonically converge with pain. You want to love the goodness that you witness within others. That's a harmonic convergence of love also. Even when you see others who are partaking of experiences that you don't yet have. Or they have things that you want but don't yet have. When you witness those things, you celebrate what you're witnessing. And in that celebration, it becomes the harmonic convergence of love. Where through your appreciation of that which you're witnessing, love harmonically converges. Which then creates a soul jump start within you. And ignites a greater experience of the love frequency and the blessings in your own life that you are witnessing. Always, always the harmonic convergence of love. When you go to the center of pain, you find the love. You know, and from the center of pain, there is the resurrection of the frequency of love. Because again, love owns the center as light owns the center of everything. The harmonic convergence of love. Love is so beautiful and it's time to know that we are infinitely welcome to and worthy of all of the love that is, was, or ever will be. And all of the love that we witness throughout the whole of existence is our own love by extension. And when we embrace that truth, it becomes an experiential frequency of feeling inside of us. We recognize this through going to the movies. That's one of the times when we let go of the resistance and we let go of our mind to such extent that we become one with that which we're witnessing on the screen. And it ignites the feelings within us. We do it all the time at the movies. What if we begin to apply that to the movie of life? Everything that you witness in life is that which you're witnessing on the screen of your life, but that which is really generated from the inner recesses of your being. Just as when you go to the movie, you witness the movie on the screen, but the movie is actually being generated from the projector. The movie's not really on the screen, it's really in the projector, though the movie is experienced on the screen. Just like everything in your life is experienced on the screen of your life, yet generated from the inner recesses of your life. When you're in the knowingness of that, when you witness all of these different 
uh, expressions of love taking place before your gaze, then you're in the understanding that there are cellular counterparts inside of you that represents the totality of the love frequency that you're witnessing that then creates a personalization and you then begin to jumpstart the personal experience of a greater magnitude of love within your own self. It is time to experience the harmonic convergence of love, for love makes all things become like unto its own self. It's beautiful. love to you beloved and remember to always be in the resonance of the harmonic convergence of love I am Astarius Miraculi and I love you so much my website is Astarius.com A-S-T-A-R-I-U-S dot com I have some amazing treasures there for you also a free download on my healing music page so go over there and receive my free gift as well as hear some of my sound clips and just surf through uh, my overall site. There's uh, some amazing things there for you. Also, I am a psychic astrologer. If you have interest in that, you can find a means by which to reach me directly there on the site as well. I do readings in person by phone and by Skype. I'm located in the Los Angeles area in California. Aho Ashe Amen Namaste Hotep in La Kesh Alak In Shalom Satnam Harion up at the top. There's room for all, it's just the bottom that's crowded, y'all. 